Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would uh, now like to, to give um, some brief comments, about three brief comments, uh, based on uh, these four excellent presentations. The first is on the increasing severity of climate change impact. The 2023 IPCC report has issued a serious warning. The climate crisis is approaching faster than ever before. As Dr. Lee, the IPCC chair, mentioned, the report underscores the urgent need to cut global greenhouse gas emissions. It warns that without substantial reduction in emissions, we risk exceeding the critical threshold, resulting in catastrophic consequences. Moreover, the impact of climate change have deepened, showing that its consequences are both more severe um, and widespread than previous records. Uh, this has resulted in a significant increase in extreme weather event, events worldwide, including heat waves, drought, floods, and storms. An illustration of these unpredicted changes is the most recent heavy rainfall and flooding in Kenya, Brazil, and the Gulf region. The Gulf region is typically known for its dry and desert climate. The flooding has resulted in numerous deaths and extensive damage to roads, buildings, and vital infrastructure. Second, on the need for a comprehensive approach to the climate crisis. To address the climate crisis, it is essential to adopt an integrated approach that combines mitigation, adaptation, and social transformation, as prescribed in the mass strategy outlined by Professor Amanat. Undertaking initiatives to reduce emissions and adopt and adapt to climate change, open pathways for green growth, green jobs, and sustainable solutions to public health, water management, energy, food security and environmental protection. Now, all these subjects will be addressed in the next session. Implementation of the mass strategy is urgently needed to address the serious impact of climate change on the world's most at-risk population, um, as, as mentioned by Professor Swaminathan. And as he said, especially, we should look at the problems of the three billion poorest people nearly half of whom live in the 46 least developed countries, and 34 out of these 46 are in Africa. Now, despite contributing only to about 10% uh, to global greenhouse gas emissions, these communities face the brunt of climate change effects. Uh, given high priority to adaptation for these communities is crucial which can also benefit mitigation and social transformation. A notable example of such synergy between adaptation and mitigation is the provision of renewable energy, especially solar energy, in the 775 million people globally, mainly in the LDCs, who lack access to electricity. Providing electricity means essential needs means that they meet essential needs like home and school lighting, clean cooking, electrical uh, water pumps for drinking and irrigation, studying, and internet access. Furthermore, it plays a significant role in reducing re, 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 relial, reliance on biomass and uh, thereby contributing to deforestation and reduction of emissions. The MUST Treaty, also highlight, uh, highlighted by Professor Suarez Orozco, Orozco, also underscores the importance of boosting adaptation and resilience for the 3.6 billion people 
living in climate vulnerable areas. It focuses on mitigation, uh, on mitigating the risk of uh, forced migration um, triggered by extreme weather events and stresses that need for more research and data collection uh, on climate change to better understand and address these critical issues. Third and most important is um, on climate action at the national and the local level. Following the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Agreements, a considerable number of countries, including many least developed countries, have formulated national adaptation plans. While nearly all countries have developed national mitigation known as national determined contribution. These plans are crucial in formulating strategies for adaptation and mitigation. While the formation of these strategies um, occurs at the national level, their implementation is deeply rooted in local action, especially by governance and mayors. And this is really the major message that we have um, learned today uh, uh, from uh, Governor Healy. Um, she pointed out a, a highly successful story, which I feel um, others should really look at carefully and try to learn various lessons from. But among the elements um, of a local action, as described by uh, Governor Healy, I, I, I I have the following four points which can form part of an agenda um, uh, for the local governments. First, uh, develop and implement local mitigation, adaptation, and adaptation plans based on local vulnerability assessments and in line, in line with the national plan. Second, uh, partner with the private sector and key research and innovation institutions, including universities, to develop and scale effective green, green solutions. Third, include climate education um, uh, uh, programs in the curricula of the schools and universities to help train the next generation of climate change leaders. And four, improve the public engagement and understanding of climate change causes, mitigation, and adaptation through social media platforms. And, and this is something perhaps nobody heard about until yet, uh, an interactive climate um, change exhibits, interactive climate change exhibits at the science centers and museums. Um, uh, th there are thousands of such centers that science center around the world. And they are visited by millions of people on a daily basis. So I think it will be very good to have part of that. Uh, I know that in the Massachusetts area, there are so many of these science centers. But maybe it is something that can be considered. But again, I say addressing these uh, key uh, elements and others, uh, Governor Healy introduced a comprehensive action plan for Massachusetts showcasing the crucial contribution of local government in the fight against climate change. He highlighted Massachusetts' global leadership in clean energy. So this is a great success story, and which I feel should be shared with other regions worldwide. Thank you so much.